In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the public domain and just give you a brief outline of how you can use public domain works to create your own work from that. I'm not going to speak specifically about ebooks, but there's many other things in the public domain, such as art, software, you name it, it's here. Okay, so one of the sites that I like is called manybooks.net. It has actually taken a lot of the things from Project Gutenberg, which is the main source of public domain works, and it's made them a little easier to navigate through. So what I do is I always go with genres. Now you can do this any way you want, but I like to look at genres and then decide what type of book I want to create from here. So let's go to cooking and see what we have in here. Okay, so you can look through these until you find something that looks interesting to you and that you might want to create a product from. Okay, so let's say we we're going to create a vegetarian cookbook. So you go into the product here and you get some information here. Up top, you have the original author, the date it was published, language is published. You see how long it is here. This is the number of words, the number of pages, location. Of course, the genre we already know. How many times it's been downloaded, when it was added to this site, and the many books net number, and the source, Gutenberg.org. And then down here, we have some excerpts. So it just shows you some of what's in here. Now what you want to do is you're going to want to download it. Now there's a lot of different formats that you can download it in here. And it depends what you're going to use to edit it. I don't suggest you bring it down a PDF because PDF is really a readable format, not a writable format. You're usually pretty safe with RTF, which is rich text format. It will open in any word processor. You can also bring it down in text file. So just decide how you want to bring it down. I'm going to bring it down on RTF. So I click on that. Now I click on download. And then I can download it to my computer. Okay, then I can go ahead and open that. Okay, I just opened it in WordPad here. What I actually am going to do is I'm going to do an open it with, and I'm going to open it with openoffice.org. If you don't have a word processor that will create PDF files for you, you can download for free a program called OpenOffice. Just do a, to go to openoffice.org and download it, and then open it with the writer. So I'm just going to open this with, with uh, OpenOffice. Okay, so I'll select openoffice.org here. Open it up. Okay, and we have more robust features in here. Okay, so there's some stuff in here. Now, what you're going to want to do, first of all, is rearrange the book. As you can see here, this is a real jumble here. So you'd have to go in and really fix up any text errors and reformat it. Now, in this case, I noticed that when I opened it with WordPad, it's actually formatted correctly. So what you might want to do is just save it in WordPad and then reopen it. So what we'll do here is we'll just save as and then we'll just give it a different title here. So let's call it Cookbook. Okay, now what you could do is just open up Cookbook with OpenOffice. Okay, and as you can see, it has straightened out the formatting for us. So then we could continue with editing the ebook. Okay, so what you're going to want to do at this point is go through it, see if there's anything that you want to change. There likely is. And like language and stuff, for instance, is different now 
than it was in say 1906 or 15 or whenever this was made so conversational language has changed since then so you're probably going to want to go through read this and change anything to make it more modern you also decide what content you want to put in here any other changes you want to make then of course what you're going to want to do is have some graphics created okay the graphics you can put pictures in with the recipes for instance need a graphic for the book and you're going to need a graphic for the website you're going to sell it off if you are in fact going to sell it off a website and then of course you're going to need to make a table of contents and once you've done that what you're going to want to do is export it as a PDF file so you do file do export as PDF and then when you click export you'll have a PDF ready to sell. 